Hey, how's it going everyone? This is DCSG81 and today I'm going to do a review for this latest Marvel Legends The Avengers Beyond Earth Mightiest Black Widow When you look at that, oh my god, the box art just show how gorgeous she is And this is one of those figures when I saw the promo picture I just feel like, yeah, it's very nice, you know, another new Black Widow But somehow I don't have the intentions to get it until when it finally released and you guys just keep posing many many of the nice pictures of her and I can't stand the poison <laughs> so I just gotta get one for myself and let's check out the side of the box we do have another very classic look of Black Widow and here is another very beautiful looks of her and as always the back is my favorite you can see all the accessory that she comes with three different head oh my god they are equally beautiful so let's Get her out of the box. So this is Black Widow right out of the box. Oh my god, she's just so beautiful. Let's check out the costumes. I just like the matte black again on this one. Yeah, looking very good. I think they do have some very classic looks of her. Just love the gold here. Wow, and the belt is a separate piece as you can see and here is the logo or symbols of Black Widows looking pretty good even though it's just pure black <laughs> but she does looks nice and whoa, we look at that ass and how can we not check out her head scalp? this one is the only one that is of a short hair looking very nice oh we look at that i think marvel legends is improving their head cup day by day yeah it just looks very gorgeous so even though she looks great but i still feel that there are some details lacking maybe it's just the pure black and nothing else but she just looks beautiful to me wow and next we'll move on to some articulation i'll start with the head as always so she can look to the right looks to the left looking up yep pretty good looking down yes even better her arm can go 360 degrees there are some slight butterfly joints as you can see but the movement isn't much her arm can go up to about 90 degrees arm shivers a double joint elbow you can turn her hand around going up and down two points of articulations so you can turn her abdomen up and down and you can move her torso around and let's see how well she can do a bend forward pretty good and bending backwards yep not too bad kicking forwards wow more than 90 degrees kicking backwards is just a little bit because of her butt cheek a tight shivers a double joint knee you can shiver her foot around going up and down so let's see how well she can do a split yep not too bad so in overall i think her articulation is pretty decent for marvel legends and right up next, let's move on to the accessory. I will start with the hands as always. So she just comes with a pair of open palms hands, which is right on the figure. Pair of closed fist hands and a pair of gun trigger hands. And she just comes with this accessory for her to interchange, which is meant for her hands here. Yep, I just love the effects on this one. Wow. And also another one with the smokes coming out. This is pretty good as well two handguns for her one with the silencer which looks pretty good some shooting effects part for the guns and also some smokes effects for the guns as well two more interchangeable heads with the long hair looking very good here i just love this one she looks very classic just blending very well with this body and this one looks equally good with the angry expressions not too bad the hair looks different as well as you can see just beautiful just beautiful so as you can see this black video this comes with quite a number of accessories and right up next i'm going to show you how to put on some of the accessories onto her so i'll start with her hands as always so you just need to pull it out like this and just slot in the hand that you want to as simple as that and to hold on to the gun you just need to Put it right in and you can just slot in the effects parts like this very easy and the same goes for the silencer as well wow looking very good and the smokes effects part for the gun looks very nice wow now to use this on her hands basically you just need to remove the hands remove this part as well and just slot it in and put the hands in again so this is how it looks like pretty good 
and the same goes for the smoke effects looks very nice and lastly to interchange the head you basically just need to pull it off like this and just slot in the head that you want to my goodness just take a look at this wow she's gorgeous this is so beautiful my good this is like a classic versions of the black widow which i love very much this is just wow and this one looks more like the modern black widow and i just love how the hair flows and this is again more angry looks of her which is very nice especially when you're posing her in some action poses and next let's try some poses for her and of course as you guys might have guessed it i will try the most iconic and signature pose of her <laughs> yeah which is this one that you can see right now and i know that behind the box they did show the same poses but i would like to try it myself wow so as you can see it is rather simple to do this iconic pose of her i know it's not perfect but it's rather good looking Do click on the likes button if you enjoy this review. Thank you. And next we'll check out some size comparison. I will start off with some Marvel Legends. I have Okoye, which is slightly shorter than her, as well as this Captain Marvel, which is also slightly shorter than her. And still on the Marvel Legends, I have these two black video. Of course, it's from the movie versions. Uh, yeah, I think they scale pretty well. And let's compare with some guys. I have Iron Man right over here, which is the classic version, looking really good with her, as well as the Captain America. Wow, I think they look great together. And next, we'll move on to some SHV guards. I have Iron Man as well, Mark 85, and also Captain America. Okay, they are slightly shorter than her. And still on the SH3 Guards, I like to compare with her own self, <laughs> which is Black Widow, very small. And let's try with some big guys. I have Hulk. Wow, I think she skilled pretty good with this SH3 Guards Hulk. And next, we'll move on to some main facts. I have Thor right over here, which is from the Endgame, as well as Mark 85. And lastly, I'm kind of curious as how she scaled with some Sentinel toys, Spider-Man, as well as this Mesco Sovereign Knight. Okay. Okay, so next I would like to talk about the pricing for this Marvel Legends. With that amount of accessories given with 3 head sculpts, yeah, I would think that this figure is very worth to get. At least it looks very good as well in your collections. But at the same time, I would like to point out that the Marvel Legends price has been increasing. Yup, so this lady here is not cheap like it used to be anymore. But they do consistently give us a lot of accessory. So um, I would say that it is still worth to collect if you really like a beautiful figures with a beautiful face okay so my final verdict based on all the star ratings so far is going to be a 8.5 out of 10 yes aesthetically i think she looks beautiful she just need more details on her suit as for her articulation yes it's pretty good and as for accessory needless to say is even better because there are so many things to play with and she can also pull off a lot of beautiful poses and i think that the price 
is still worthwhile to get even though it's slightly more expensive now so yes i do recommend this black widow to be added into your collection especially if you are into the classic avengers team so she will make a very beautiful teammates in your collections so i do hope that you enjoy my review and most importantly it helps you to decide whether you should get this black widow and the answer is yes and i'll catch you again in my next video i hope you check out this video right over here